PSA Collector. Well, what's going on, guys? It's Matt with PSACollector.com back with another video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be opening a 1992 1993. <laughs> Top Stadium Club members only basketball factory sealed set. Now I picked this up, shoot, a couple months ago for like $200. They're now selling for over $500, okay? Some might be asking why. Simple guys, the 1992 Beam Team Shaquille O'Neal rookie card is in here. Also the 92, 93 Michael Jordan Beam Team insert is in here okay now if you haven't noticed these cards are going up 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 in value a shack members only psa 9 rookie card just sold at auction for 364 dollars a psa 9 and a jordan psa 9 just sold at auction for 405 dollars imagine what these are going to sell for if I pull out gem mint 10 condition cards, guys, and the prices are only going to continue to increase. Now, these members only factory sealed sets, guys, they were only obtainable through tops. You had to call in and order these over the phone. OK, you, some guys claim that they saw these in their local hobby shops back in the day. However, I think that guys bought those, took them to the shop and traded the, the owner for those or the owner simply called, bought a set and um, was selling it there okay i'm not sure how if tops limited how many sets you guys can buy however back in the day beckett declared that the members only cards were half the value of the regular stadium club cards that you pulled out of packs i think that's changing if you guys look at the psa population reports the members only cards are half the population of the regular beam team cards so i think they're going up in value and other collectors as well think that the members only cards are hold a little bit more value however not much more value the regular stadium club cards uh, beam team stadium club cards are still valuable so don't disregard those if you see those at auction or buy it now for cheap go ahead and pick those up because they're just as valuable um, and collectible okay so the Beam Team cards, guys, one of the very first early inserts with newer technology of uh, finish, okay? They were designed to look like the laser show that took place during the All-Star Game, um, the halftime show. After the first release in 92, Stadium Club continued to do Beam Team cards up until 96, I think. And then 96 was last year. So the Beam Team cards, guys, very collectible and becoming more and more popular. Uh, with Jordan and Shaq collectors, okay? So I'm gonna open this set, factory sealed set, $500 set potentially, show you guys what's inside and see if I have any gem mint condition cards. So without any further ado guys, let's just go ahead and jump into this break. All right guys, I've been waiting forever to open this box and I'm glad I'm finally getting to it, okay? Now before you do this guys, make sure to use hand sanitizer. If you guys open up any of these sets, use hand sanitizer and wash your hands real good. You don't want any oil or dirt or grime on it, okay? And then have your penny sleeves readily available and your card savers or top loaders, whatever you wanna put your cards in, store your cards in. I like card savers and definitely penny sleeves. And you can tell this is still factory sealed because it's the tops. Originally factory sealed with the tops on the shrink wrap, okay? You wanna make sure that tops logo is on the shrink wrap when you're buying these up if you see them. I'm just gonna do a simple slice, open her up. Yeah, I got I scratched the box, but whatever. Pull it open. And if I remember right, the beam team cards, the Jordan, there's a Jordan card in here. There's also Shaq rookie cards in here. There's two Shaq rookie cards and the beam team card. And uh Michael Jordan members only card, all kinds of stuff in this set. So it's already looking kind of rough. Now this is jam packed, guys, jam packed. What I'm gonna wanna do with, to prevent any uh, damaging, go towards the middle and pull out a chunk in the middle, okay? You don't wanna pull from the ends. Pull from the middle, because these are all just the base cards, not really much value there, okay? And then pull it back gently. Well, pull out some more if you can. And then pull back gently and that's going to open it up and there's john stockton so that's not the jordan so the first one is john stockton you can see the corners dinged right there this corner is dinged and then the back oh that's horrible that's that's very bad condition guys i'm telling you what these are hard to find in mint condition let alone gem mint condition so that stockton is not a candidate let's go ahead and slip out carl malone or jeff malone 
That corner is beat up. Very bad condition. And that, you guys can tell, see that members only watermark? That's how you know it's a members only card. Which is very difficult to tell if you're buying these online and the seller says it's their members only. You, you, it's hard to tell through a scan or a photo. You have to be holding the card and tilting it in order to see that watermark. But it's there, okay? And the ones that are found in packs don't have that watermark. So let's go ahead and pull out this Dennis Rodman. Ooh, nice. Dennis Rodman's looking good. Now the centering on these guys, it's the width of the, the edge of like the, uh, the silver part and the dark part. So is that width right there, that little thin line, the same width as that? Yes, it is. It's pretty, pretty darn close. So, then, so the centering left to right is good on this uh, Dennis Rodman. The back, however, there's some whitening on that corner. This might be a mint nine right here, that this Rodman. So I'm going to go ahead and sleeve him up. The centering looks really good. And these cards are hard to find centered. If you look at these on, online, you'll notice what, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, there just some could be crazy, crazy off centered. This is the card we were looking for. Oh, they're already bricking. Look at that. That's a brick. Look at that. It looks like a thick patch card. So there's a Jordan on top. I'm going to put this out of the box. Move that box. So the Jordan is on top. It's not looking too bad, guys. The centering is looking okay. Left to right. There's the watermark. The corners are looking okay. I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. Oh, there we go. And you see there, there's, there's already chipping going on. See that whitening right there on the, on the edge? So this is not going to be a gem mint condition. In my opinion, that's just too, that's too flaky. However, it could be a nine, guys. It could be a mint nine. So that $200 investment I made, you know, shoot, I think it was like six months ago. Pay an additional $10 to have this graded. That's, you know, I sell this for $400. That's pretty nice profit. However, I don't think I'm going to sell these. I think I'm just going to submit them for grading. I think I want to submit these to SGC. That's why I'm opening this box. Okay, I'm trying to find cards to submit to SGC that's going to have equal value to PSA graded cards. So this Jordan is definitely a candidate. I'm glad to see the corners aren't all beat up and visually appealing guys. The card has to be visually appealing as well when you're trying to sell these. So even though it's a mint nine, um, if there's something noticeably wrong on the front, sellers aren't going to want it as much as a mint nine that doesn't have anything noticeably wrong on the front. Okay. Collectors are picky about that kind of stuff. So this front looks flawless. I'm very happy with this Jordan card. The beam team uh, looks flawless on the front. The back has those two chipping. I think this is going to be a mint nine. So very excited. Even an SGC mint nine guys, there is tons and tons of value here. All right. So the Jordan 1992 beam team members only insert considered an insert that's the jordan we're looking for big big win on that one now let's look for the shack now uh, there's sean kemp i'm gonna pull these off very gently there's a scotty pippen looking pretty good see the centering on this see the thickness of that silver sliver compared to the right side it's off center left to right so that's off center the Reggie Miller looking good. Nothing too terrible. This is looking much better than the other, whoa, other box I broke uh, opened. Just gotta, I'm going to gently peel these apart. Hear that snapping or that cracking. Ooh, Shaq. There he is. There he is. I'm going to set him down. Set that brick down. Look at the centering. Very good centering, left to right. See that sliver, guys? That's good centering right there. Let's look at the back. Oh, dude, that looks good. This looks very good. Very excited about this shack right here, guys. Members only, beam team, rookie card. Definitely. Honestly, guys, this is my favorite Shaq rookie card of all time. I've been buying them up in PSA 8 cases. I really don't care if it's members only or not. Uh, I just love the Shaq beam team cards. 
you can't tell if it's a members only either. If it's in the PSA case, the only way you're going to be able to tell if it's if the PSA label says it. So, very, very excited about the Shaq Beam Team and the Jordan Beam Team and all the other legendary Hall of Fame players in this set as well, guys. I think one day I might try to complete the entire set. There are also other cards in here as well, Shaq Rookie cards. I'm going to show you in a minute. Let's just filter through the rest of these beam teams. Clyde Drexler, Chris Mullen, Glenn Rice, David Robinson, nice centering. Corner has a little ding. Kevin Johnson, Tim Hardaway, Hakeem Olajuwon. There's another card I forgot about. Still a, a grading candidate right here. Patrick Ewing, Mark Price, Charles Barkley, and Carl Malone. Awesome, awesome, guys. Awesome. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and filter through and find the Shaq rookie real quick. And there it is, guys. There's a Shaq rookie. The members only, just the base. Base set. Another card. Very tough card to grade. Not looking too bad, though. Not looking too bad. Just leave him up. There's a Jordan right there. Members only. Or members choice. Members only. Members choice. Has a ding in the corner right there. Still going to sleeve him up. Has another bend in the corner. Now these sets were rumored to be printed around 8,000 to 10,000 sets. They were I'm not really sure what the exact print run is, but I've seen online that they're around 8,000 to 10,000 of these members only sets, okay? So relatively rare compared to, you know, you know, 30,000 sets, 60,000 sets, just eight to 10,000 sets, members only. Not sure how many regular issue sets are printed, but you guys can go check on eBay and see if you can find any 1992, 93 Stadium Club, Series one or series two boxes. I can't remember if they're in series one or series two. They're selling them too, guys. Like uh, wildfire, or the popularity of those boxes. So I was a little hesitant to open this because I could easily sold it for four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. And if I opened it, I took the chance of, you know, finding cards in horrible condition. So I'm glad I opened these up because the cards, the Jordan and the Shack specifically were in at least, in my opinion, mint nine grades. So keep your eyes open for these 92, 93 Stadium Club basketball card boxes, guys, when you're at garage sales, flea markets, card shops. If you can get them for two to $300, I think that's a bargain. All right, guys, so look for the Shaq Member's Choice, the Jordan Member's Choice, the two base Shaq and Jordans. But most importantly, guys, you wanna look for these members only beam team cards all right so if you guys see these boxes at a garage sale uh at flea markets online or in the card shop for two to three hundred dollars go ahead and pick them up or if you have one and you want a quick four or five hundred dollars go ahead and sell it or open it up and submit it to psa and if you have gem mint tens that's a pretty big profit all right now i see these beam team cards only going to go up in value collectability popularity over the years so i'm going to be holding on to these all right however if you guys want to sell them um, for a quick buck to reinvest back into the hobby, that's a great, now is a great time to do it, all right? So Shaq rookie cards, first, some of the first Michael Jordan inserts ever. Guys, you can't go wrong with the 92-93 Beam Team uh, Stadium Club inserts, all right? So I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm going to be putting these in my SGC order, which I'm going to do a video on here shortly. So stay posted for that. What are your thoughts on the Beam Team cards? Do you guys like them? Are they going to go up in value? Which would you prefer? The members only or the regular issue Beam Team cards? Do you think the members only cards should uh, fetch a premium because they were available only through tops and they have the watermark and a, a known print run around eight to 10,000 sets? Or do you think the regular cards, Beam Team cards are more valuable because you had to pull those from the packs and the condition is probably going to be more difficult because they were inserted in packs. Let me know in the comments, guys. This set is still, uh, collectors are still slowly realizing how cool these cards are, all right? So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for commenting, and thanks for liking the video, guys. I'll see you on the next one, all right?